Hi, this is Steve Krause with GroovyPost.com. Today I'm going to show you the new Windows 8 uh, Task Manager. Um, now, Windows 8 was released this week at the Microsoft Build Conference, and uh, one of the large things uh, from the release in Windows 8 is the Metro UI. And so here you can see I'm in the, uh, the new Metro UI. Now, this I'm on a tablet, so obviously you won't see my, my hand strokes, but just to start off, one way to launch Task Manager is you just uh, come over here and you just search for it. So let's open up the tablet keyboard. And here I have the hand recognition. And so I'm just going to type in task. There it goes. Click insert. And then over here you can see uh, task manager over here on the top. Now another way to do it is you can actually just use the, uh, the keyboard. Okay, I'll click down here and put it into keyboard mode. And then type in task manager. That's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now, the new task manager for Windows 8 is brand new. Uh, one of the things about the task manager is kind of like with the iPad and iPhone. When the apps are, are not active, then Windows will suspend them. And here you can see down here, like Remote Desktop and Internet Explorer, they're not actively used, so they're actually suspended. Um, it's a really nice app. You can see I'm recording this with Camtasia um, Studio. And so you can see that one's taking some CPU, uh, a little bit of memory, uh, a little bit of disk. Um, you know, very cool stuff. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see Windows processes, sort of what they're consuming, background processes. If you click into performance, here you can see the, all the standards like uh, CPU, memory, disk, all those typical KPIs. Um, app history. Here you go what's been going on, what's in your startup, what users. I thought this was real interesting as far as uh, you know what users doing what on the system. So a really nice new uh, task manager. Now for basic users you can also click down here on the bottom fewer details and then here you can actually kill apps. Again like on the uh, on the iPad where you can hold down the start button and delete apps individually. So this is where you you can also uh, delete apps. That didn't work. Bug. Let's try this one. So this is a beta preview. Um, and then again, you click on more details, and there you go. Now, another way to get here is if you have a keyboard, um, like I do on, uh, on my tablet, um, you can also use a mouse, and you can right-click on the, uh, the taskbar and click Start Task Manager. So there it is again. And you can also hit the Windows key R and type in task MGR. Now this is actually going to give us the classic task manager, uh, which we all know and love since the beginning of time. And again, nothing real, nothing real exciting here other than uh, just your basic task manager. So they hide that a little bit. You're not going to know it unless you actually know the uh, the file name in System32, but overall, not bad. Again, here from the classic desktop, you can also swipe on the right-hand side, search, again, well, that didn't work. Click on Apps, and then, there we go, and then Task Manager, and then that opens up again. So there's several different ways that you can launch the new Task Manager. The new task manager looks great. It can really give you some analytics as to what's going on. And, uh, you know, check it out. Hopefully this how-to is useful. For more tips and videos like this, check out groovypost.com.